to my channel welcome back it's been a long time guys i know i know but i'm back i'm back from vacation i'm back from cuba and i'm going to start again with these vlogs i miss this i miss vlogging so yeah for the people who are new here hi guys welcome uh, thank you so much for subscribing my channel for watching my vlogs uh, I do content about gastric bypass, weight loss surgery, and about my weight loss journey, of course. For the people who are old in this channel, just sit down, take coffee or something, and welcome back. I'm back. So, yeah. In this vlog, I'm going to talk about my six-month post-up. I'm going to give you an update. It's already six months, guys. Time goes fast, really. I can't believe it's six months, but yeah let's do this let's talk about loose skin hair loss about my weight my uh currently weight my current weight actually let's talk about everything how much i eat now about my mentally and physically problems how do you say about my how i feel mentally and physically so let's talk about everything if i forget something please don't forget to Ask me on the comments and I think I'm going to make a video about the questions. But now let's talk about the important things. So I went, I left, let's see. I When I went to Cuba, I was 82 kilograms. So I weighed 82 kilograms. Um, I stayed there for two months and when I came back, I weighed myself again and I was at 70 kilograms. So that means that I've lost 12 kilograms in two months in Cuba. Personally, I think it's too much that I have lost so many in two months. It's like I lost six kilo each month. And I think it's too much. I don't know. That's why I'm glad that I've lost so fast. 12 kilo two in two months but i think it's too much but that's also because of my diet um i couldn't do my diet properly in cuba so i didn't go to the gym because of the heat and also because it, it was too far um i didn't eat well so i was eating rice and beans every almost every days and i thought i was going to gain weight because of that and also i didn't walk a lot um every time i go to cuba i walk a lot i do everything by foot but this time because of my surgery because i was feeling um tired i didn't walk a lot but when i came back i saw that i've lost 12 kilo and that's all because of the heat guys so okay i was eating rice beans and meat there was not vegetables i couldn't find vegetables that's so sad Every time I found vegetables, it was once a week or not even once a week. So mostly I ate rice and beans and meat and soup. But because of the heat, I couldn't eat like that much. And I cannot eat that much, but I normally eat 150 grams. And there I was eating like 100 grams or maybe less. It depends on what when i when it was rice and beans it was less than 100 grams so yeah when it was soup it was like 150 sometimes even 200 grams so yeah because of the heat i couldn't eat much i couldn't go to the gym and i couldn't move around like i used to do everything because of the heat but when you have to wait for transport and you have to stay in the sun for sometimes one hour and when you have to, I don't know, run for the bus or you have to walk to the bus station like 10 minutes, that's, then you, of course, you will lose weight. But I thought because I wasn't following my diet, also I was eating like three times a day, four times a day, sometimes five, five times a day because sometimes I even, I didn't even have a snack. To eat there because i couldn't find snack to eat so yeah i was eating less four times a day three times a day sometimes five times a day and i was also eating less than 150 grams that's also 
that's why i've lost so many kilos in two months so that was cuba it's really sad actually because this country this island is in a crisis right now that i couldn't find things to follow my diet but i'm back in belgium so i can start again with my diets and i don't have problems with that so yeah that's why i've lost so many kilos so currently i'm at 70 kilograms i'm also going to put it in pounds don't worry so yeah i'm very happy of course but it is just sad that i couldn't follow my diet in cuba i was worried actually that i was going to gain weight but i have lost so many in those two months and now i'm back i'm gonna start my program again my diets um so yeah that's about my current weight right now i would like to go to 60 65 but if i stay like this i'm going to show my body or you know later on because i don't have a mirror here in my room um but if i stay like this i don't mind actually <laughs> i don't mind but i would like to go to 60 or 65 kilograms because i want to see if it fits me or not but like i said if i don't get to that goal i don't mind staying at 70 kilograms actually because that means that i actually have lost in this six months that i've lost in total like 40 kilograms it's like 85 pounds i have lost like 85 pounds and that's actually a lot in six months and because i have lost so many in six months and so fast of course i have loose skin i'm going to show you my arms so that you can see how it is right now as you see here of course i have loose skin but i actually don't mind I thought it was going to be worse than this um my family also we my mom my cousins my aunts we all have like big arms like even if you are thin we have big arms so i don't mind staying like this i don't mind this loose skin at all i'm not even thinking about doing a tummy tuck or something because like i said i don't mind Later on, I'm going to show my belly, but I'm happy. If I stay like this, I'm happy, actually. I don't, I'm not thinking about doing a tummy tuck, but we shall see. Uh, everything can change. Um, if I decide to do something, it's going to be my belly. But like I said, it's only six months post-op um, and you lose weight in one year. So the first year you lose weight. So... I still have six months to go so we shall see what was going to happen everything can happen but like i say i'm not thinking about doing it if i decided to do something it's going to be my belly but yeah i have loose skin of course and i don't mind right now i don't mind at all hair loss i also have hair loss i noticed that i had hair loss when i came back to belgium yep so when i went to cuba so when i left i had braids so i did cornrows um after two uh, after one month i took my no after three weeks i took my cornrows out so to wash my hair you know um so when i took my cornrows out i washed my hair and i stare for I stayed with my natural hair for like three weeks and those three weeks I detangled my hair three times of course because I went to the beach so I washed my hair a lot and I detangled my hair like three times and every time I detangled my hair I didn't see any hair loss it was the normal amount of hair loss that I usually have so I told myself hmm, maybe I will not have hair loss so I was happy of course so I detangled my hair three times and I didn't know things anything after three weeks i did box braids um, and i stayed with the box braids for like one month and last week i took my box braids out and 
I knew that I was going to lose hair again because every time you do cornrows or box braids, you always lose an amount of hair. But that's normal because you haven't detangled your hair for a long time. But this time, when I detangled my hair, so I took my box braids out, I detangled my hair, I have lost so many. Even my mom was in shock because she was helping me and she was in shock. Like... She thought that I was going bald, that all my hair was going to fall out, but no. So I thought, hmm, maybe it's because of the surgery, because I know I lose hair every time I take my braids out, but this time it was a lot, really. It was a lot. Only this quarter, it was like this amount. I was in shock. I even, I didn't need, I didn't took pictures or anything. I wanted to show you guys but I actually forgot but only this quarter it was this amount so imagine the whole head it was a lot of hair actually and also when I washed my hair I felt like mm, something is wrong not something is wrong I felt like I had less hair but thankfully I have a lot of hair thick hair that I actually don't mind I don't see any bald spot only here I see that I have less I don't know if you guys notice but here I feel like I have less hair but here I don't actually I'm glad that I lost hair because I had a lot of hair I <laughs> oh excuse me I have a lot of hair so I'm glad that I've lost some now I can detangle my hair better <laughs> it doesn't last that long so now i can detangle my hair in less than an hour i can comb my hair better and i can style it better actually because i had so much hair that it was difficult for me to detangle and it was difficult for me to do a hairstyle now it's much better but i still have hair so that's good so i also don't mind this hair loss maybe later on is going to i'm going to lose more i don't know because now when i detangle my hair i don't lose that much even less than before the surgery so maybe it's like one time in a month that you lose hair i don't know but now i don't have this problem I only had it one time and now when I comb my hair or detangle my hair, I don't see that much hair loss. So we shall see. Maybe later on I will have more hair loss. Uh, but like I said, I don't mind this hair loss. I don't mind this loose skin. Like at this point, I'm happy with my body. It can always improve. But if it stays like this, I don't mind. So yeah guys, I talked about my hair loss, my loose skin, about my current weight. Uh, let's talk about the food. So I don't, I follow my diet. Like I eat six times a day, sometimes five times a day. Like the doctor said, I still follow my diet. What I'm noticing, what I'm noticing is that I'm eating more than the first month, of course. So the first month you eat like one or three spoons and you are full. Now... Uh, after two months, I was eating like 100 grams and I was eating 150 grams. Now, sometimes it depends on what I eat. I can eat 150 grams till 200 grams. So now I'm reaching the 200 grams. So I'm eating more. Um, that's fine, I guess, because 150 grams or 100 grams, that's not much. Now I'm reaching the 200 grams. I can eat more. And yeah, I don't have any problems with the puking. I don't puke anymore. Nope. Even when I eat much than I used to eat. For example, if I eat more than 200 grams, um, I don't puke. I just feel terrible. I don't have... The dumping syndrome is gone. So I, you just feel terrible, you know? It's like when you eat too much, you like, it was a long time that I ate uh, a cookie. So I tried, in Cuba, I tried once to eat a small, small piece of a cake because it was my cousin's birthday. 
So I ate a small, small piece and I wasn't feeling good. Like my heart was rushing too fast. Like something here was, was not good. I was feeling, I was feeling terrible actually. And last week I also tried one cookie. I ate the whole cookie, so I didn't puke or anything. But again, I was feeling terrible because I'm not used to eat this a lot of sugar. So if I eat a lot of sugar, if I eat a lot of oil, so oily things, you don't feel well. So that's how you know that you're not, <laughs> that you are doing it wrong. So I'm not going to eat, of course, I'm not going to eat this cookie anymore. So I don't follow this strict diet i just eat what i want to eat i just know if i eat pasta today i will not eat pasta tomorrow or the next day so i just balance my food you know so but if i want to eat a piece of cake of course i'm going to eat a piece of cake but just not every week so like i said if this week i want to eat a piece of cake then i know that the next week and then other week i cannot have piece of cake you know and that's how i do it guys i don't follow these strict diets i'm not i'm not doing this keto diet all the time i just balance my food i i just do what it feels right you know and that's what i eat like today i woke up i ate bread my first snack was yogurt for lunch i'm going to have eggs an omelette with cheese and then I'm going to have fruits for snack too and then in the evening I'm just going to have my meat with vegetables because I already ate bread this morning you know so that's how I do it actually um, I still drink my protein shakes every morning for breakfast but now I don't have it I have, I have to buy so I actually what I do is for breakfast I drink my protein shake that's it I'm eating bread right now because I don't have protein shake <laughs> so when I buy my protein shake every morning for breakfast I'm going to eat my protein shake that I know that I can eat pasta for lunch or for in the evening you know or just something else but not bread and then pasta and then potato in the evening you know no I don't do that so yeah guys that's what i eat that's actually my update right now let me see if i forgot something to mention um i wrote down some things that i wanted to talk about i don't know if i mentioned that i'm feeling how i'm feeling mentally and physically so mentally i'm feeling great i'm not depressed anymore i my head is lighter is that a right sentence so my head is lighter but i still have this mindset that i'm that fat girl you know because when i go to the store and i want to buy a dress i always think mm, that dress is not going to fit me and then i think oh wait i have lost weight let me try that dress you know physically great i still have like my energy is not 100% but it's better than before I have to go to the gym if I don't go to the gym I feel terrible if I sit at home the whole day I feel terrible I cannot even sit at home one hour I have to do something my mom complains less because I help more in the house so when she comes back from work the house is clean the kitchen is clean the food is ready you know and before the surgery she was always complaining because I, I didn't do anything now I'm doing more in the house I go out more you know I walk more and I'm more active I have more confidence I'm gaining confidence but it's not 100% uh, that means like for example I dare to say more uh, no more uh, before I was scared to say no because I was scared to lose people I was scared to you know that they wouldn't like me or something but now i dare to say no more and put myself first like i'm still there for my friends and i still want to help but if i cannot do it i will just say no i cannot do it you know so now i'm putting myself first and then the others like before the surgery it was otherwise i was putting others 
first and then me and that's and that's why I think I was sometimes depressed. I wasn't feeling well. But now I'm going the right way. My com I'm gaining more confidence, so that's good. Um, so yeah, that's actually the update, guys. If I forgot something, please comment down below. Ask me, and then I'm gonna make another video about it. But I I talked about my loose skin, loose skin, about my hair loss, about my current weight. I'll talk about all about my food, how much I eat right now and what I eat. So yeah, if I forgot something, please comment down below, ask me, I will answer in the comment, or I will make another vlog. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say about my six pack. That's the update. So now let me show you guys my body because you can only see this part. So let's go to my mom's room. She has a mirror. I don't have a mirror. And let me show you guys. Let me show you. So let's go. So, here you see the mirror. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, this is me right now. As you can see, this is from way before the surgery. So, now you can see how big it is about this after the surgery to go to the gym and look it's getting bigger so yeah let me show you guys the body wait a second so yeah guys this is me right now i still have a little belly as you can see everything is getting bigger so yeah and this is my belly right now let me just show you you see i have a little flu skin but like i told you guys i don't mind i really don't mind what i would like is to have a flat stomach but if i stay like this I don't mind but I still have some kilos to lose so we will see how it's going to be in the future but you see it's better than before so yeah this is my body guy so yeah guys you saw my current body situation and I don't mind having this loose skin actually I don't mind right now but like I say, if I've decided to do something, I will do the tummy tuck. But right now, I'm fine. I don't mind my body. I'm glad at this point. So yeah, guys, I don't know what to say. This is my six months post-op. I'm back with the vlogging. I'm back. I don't know what to do in the future. If you guys want to know what I eat in a day, what I actually eat in a week you know i don't know if you guys want me to vlog more about my food uh about my gym and it's because when i go to the gym i i i don't have this motivation to vlog because like i said it's me time and i'm scared i'm still scared to vlog outside i don't want me people to see me with a, this big tripod in the gym you know that's i'm just shy <laughs> I'm an introvert person, so oh, that's also something that I want to tell you guys. I'm an introvert person, but now I'm because I'm gaining confidence, I'm becoming more social, so I'm less scared to talk to people. If I, if you know what I mean, um, I'm becoming like this introvert, but sometimes I'm an extrovert, you know, like that's fine that's fine but i still love to vlog in my room or in my house than outside because i'm shy and i don't want people to look at me but maybe in the future i will have more confidence to do it but i don't know if you guys want me to vlog like what i eat in a day um, about fashion things that fits that i never wore in my whole life and i'm wearing right now so 
just tell me guys tell me what you guys want to see uh, ask me questions and I'm going to blog about it so yeah so this was my six months post stop I'm going to try to post every week like I used to do so yeah like I said if you have questions don't forget to ask me in the comments and I will make a vlog about it I want to thank you guys for subscribing my channel for watching my vlogs and for liking it really I appreciate it let this community get bigger to help more people of course and I'm so happy that I'm back and I'm so happy that I can communicate with you guys I really missed you guys but it's time to go because as you can see I'm going to the fitness I'm going to the gym and then I see you guys on my next vlog and I hopefully I can do it next week because I have to find a job I'm very busy right now so but I will make time I really I'm going to make time just want you guys to know that I'm back and that I'm starting vlogging again and if you want to follow me on social media to see because I post more on Instagram it's better for me so please follow me on Instagram I will put my details on the screen follow me on Instagram then you can see more about my journey so thank you guys for watching thank you so much and I see you guys on my next vlog bye Thank you.